Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, that was a loud crack, that was me cracking my knuckles, sorry. Today's video is going to be me prepping for the sweetener tour slash concert tips and essentials. Basically things I bring to a concert, my tips for going to a show, whether it be general admission or just like a regular stadium or arena show. I am attending the Ariana Grande sweetener tour in four days. I'm going to the Boston show, so I am vlogging. I say this in every single video. Oh my god, this is gonna be like the last video where I'm like, I'm vlogging the sweeter tour because oh my god literally every single video i mention ariana and i'm like i'm vlogging we get it okay this is basically what i plan on bringing so if you guys are interested please keep watching and make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and also i am at 94 subscribers right now if any of you could get me to 100 subscribers soon, that would be really cool. We're just gonna get right into the video. Also, going back to the sweetener tour because this is the sweetener tour prep that I'm gonna call it. I do want to let you know, so yes, I am vlogging both of the shows that I'm going to. In between those vlogs, I'm also doing videos with my friends. On Wednesday, my friend and I are gonna do a get ready with me for the sweetener tour and we also kind of want to do like a Q&A thing. So if y'all don't let me flop and have my first Q&A be a success. I really want it to be Ariana related so just like questions about Ariana that you want us to answer but also like any questions we'll do. So if you guys would like follow me on social media mainly Twitter and Instagram that's where I would probably be posting about it and I'll just like put something on my story or whatever and ask you guys for some questions so that my friends and I can answer. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. My Twitter is at Megan Osley with two y's the same for Instagram but I changed my name because hackers suck so it's at Megan Osley with two y's and then an underscore at the end so if you guys want to participate in the Q&A that I'm gonna have going on make sure you follow me on those I guess I'm gonna go over like what I'm gonna bring in my bag and everything first for any of you who do not know for the sweetener tour Ariana plan to have everything be in the clear bag policy meaning you cannot bring in any bag if it's not clear I have gone to venues in the past that participate in the whole clear bag policy. Gillette Stadium, they always do the clear bag policy. I usually bring a wristlet because they're okay with wristlets, but I don't think that's the case for TD Garden and Mohegan Sun for Ariana's tour or any venue on Ariana's tour because she doesn't want any bags. To save from any confusion and everything, please just bring a clear bag. You can bring a gallon size Ziploc bag if you really, really need to like bring a bag and everything. Personally, for me, I prefer wristlets. I usually bring a wristlet like this to a concert and I brought this to the Dangerous Woman tour. I brought this to the Reputation tour. Like every single concert I go to, I always use wristlets because honestly, I'm gonna show you guys like what I bring. I don't really bring too much with me. That's why I usually use a wristlet. Ariana did put clear bags on her website for only $8, but you still have to pay for shipping and everything. And I was gonna buy the wristlet and you know, I was like, I have a clear bag. I'm not gonna waste money. That's just like really stupid of me in my opinion. So I have this clear bag that my mom got for me on Amazon and it's literally just this so as you can see it has a strap and everything so I'm probably just gonna wear it like a purse or like a crossbody kind of thing what I usually put in here it's not a lot really it's just like the main essentials because I don't think that you really need that many things to bring to a concert make sure that you have a clear bag even if you want you can just use your pockets if you don't want to bring a bag I don't think it's that big of a deal but it's always important to pay attention to the bag policy especially when you're going to a concert like I said Gillette Stadium they always do the clear bag policy but they accept wristlets that are this size I'm gonna go back to when I went to the reputation tour if any of you guys have ever been to like a stadium show there's so much to do around the venue my mom and I went into this restaurant called Toby Keith's it closed down unfortunately so I can't go back and they have like the best onion rings but anyways besides the point we have this country radio station called country 1025 and they were in that restaurant and they were doing this whole thing about like Taylor and everything um, um, they had like their radio backdrop and like a big head of Taylor and I was gonna go take a picture with it but before I went to go take my picture one of the girls that worked for the radio station came up to me and she was like do you want to do like Taylor Swift trivia and everything and I was like sure why not so 
I didn't know if I would like win anything. She asked me three questions. If you're a Swifty, you know them. They're like so easy. I got all of them right and I won a bag and I won this 1989 tour bag. Someone literally stopped my mom and I before we were like going towards the stadium and she was like, you guys can't bring that in. And we were just like, why? Like they participate in the whole clear bag policy thing, but they wouldn't let us bring it in. Luckily, we were able to bring it in because she just gave us like a regular clear bag that we can just like stuff it in. I got merch and there weren't any bags left. So I was just like, hey, I'm just going to bring this in anyway. And they wouldn't let us. So it's just a thing to keep in mind. Venues are very, very strict about their policy. Pay attention to it. Don't risk getting your stuff taken away because once you get it taken away, you never get it back. In our case, we were lucky because it was only a drawstring bag and she was nice enough to give us one of the plastic bags. Make sure you're on top of that. What to put in your bag and this one's gonna be like mainly empty when I go unfortunately I couldn't find everything and it's really annoying me that means that I have to like buy stuff and like I don't want to buy stuff a bitch is poor it needs to pay for lift rides and merch when I spend the days in Boston on Wednesday and Thursday so what to put in your bag your tickets please make sure that you have them you do not want to go to a concert and then forget your tickets that is the worst thing that could ever happen especially Especially for me, I know that there are people that travel way farther to go to a concert. Like there are people that drive three hours to go to the concert that's like nearest to them. My friend is literally flying from New York to come to Boston with me so that we can go see Ariana together. In my case, I'm only 45 minutes away from Boston so it's not too bad but still, please remember your tickets. You do not want to get into the city and then have to turn around and come back or download the Ticketmaster app so that you can like share your tickets and everything. It's just not worth it. Please remember put a reminder in your phone if you have to it's so obvious but like I feel like people have forgotten about it before so just remember them another thing that I keep in my bag and everything is a portable charger I think my mom has a portable charger that I can borrow from her if you are going to a concert you're gonna be taking pictures you're gonna be taking videos you're gonna be on your phone and if you're not driving home you know uber lyft all that kind of stuff phones die quick make sure that you have that in your bag make sure you bring your charger too because you obviously need that it's just like so important like one of the most important parts I cannot go to a concert without a portable charger so just like make sure that you have an extra charging device even if you have to bring in the block so that you can just plug it into something just make sure that you have portable charger your phone is another thing that you'll need make sure you don't forget your phone you won't forget your phone this is probably like the least important on the list because we already know that you're gonna have your phone in your hands when you leave but just in case. Bring money. Bring your debit card or your credit card, whatever you use, and bring cash. I mean, it's always good to have cash on hand, but also keep your debit card just in case because you never know if you'll need it. But don't just put your debit card in the bag so that everyone can like look at your card information and like break into your bank and everything and just like steal all your money. What I suggest is bringing a little card slot thing, which is important because you don't want people breaking into your bank account. Target has them for like five bucks or less, literally. I'm also gonna put my ID in here as well. That is another thing that you should bring with you just in case, especially if you're doing VIP. They're gonna wanna check your ID to make sure that your name is on it and everything is like correct. And that one is just like very important to just slip in your bag. And then the last thing to bring, if it is allowed, please bring water. It's like so good, especially if it's like an outdoor show, like a stadium, or if you're just like hanging around before, like if you're going to a general admission show, and you're lining up like hours before staying hydrated is key for the sweetener tour if you're gonna be in the pit i've been in those situations before and it is very very hot in there because there's like so many people and you're just like congested in there so just make sure that you have water with you if you can or at least just like bring a water bottle like a plastic one so that you can recycle when you're done trust me you will need it that is basically all that i will be putting into my bag so now i'm going to be going in with like my tips and everything for when you do go to a concert this isn't just for the sweetener tour this could be for any situation any concert so my first tip get there early whether you're in vip or you're just like in regular seats especially if you have standing seats or a general edition it's more fun because then you don't have to worry about getting there on time and everything so if you can just get there as early as you can do you have to wait it at four o'clock in the morning no make sure you get there at like a decently early time don't go like an hour 
hour before the show and then you're just like well fuck like I have a bad seat and especially for the sweetener tour I know some people I've talked to they're just like yeah I'm gonna get there super early so that I can be in the pit at like a good time and everything also kind of going along with the getting there early just enjoy like the area of the venue and everything like for example if you're going to a stadium show go to like a bunch of restaurants and everything and go to like all the shops and stuff and see what's going on there's always so much to do before a concert so even if you want to like tailgate before a show and everything I don't think TD Garden has too much to do and I don't really know about any other arenas but I know there's like stuff to do so just like enjoy everything because then you can just like relax as soon as you get into the venue and just like enjoy your surroundings before you go to the show and it just gets you more excited too because like you're gonna be like in the venue that like the artist is at at that moment and you're just gonna be like yo like I'm like hanging out and they're doing sound check especially because like radio stations and everything they'll all be like around the venue talking to fans like interacting with them and like doing like little pictures and everything and like putting you on like their snapchat and instagram stories and all that kind of stuff one of the last tips I have you can dress as cute as you want go all out be extra for Boston I'm gonna just wear the H&M prop hoodie honestly I just wanted to be like comfortable for that show I know for other people that is not the case they want to dress up make these costumes and everything which like good for you like if you want to do that totally do that I'm like really really short I'm like four foot ten at concerts do I see everything no but like I still have a good time because I'm there for the artists for me in the past there have been times where I've literally worn like not heels but like heeled boots to a show and everything and it's like yeah that's great like are you comfortable no you're gonna want to take off your shoes like an hour into the show before the artist even comes up on the stage do whatever you please wear whatever you want at your own risk because if you know that you'll be comfortable standing for like eight hours with like five inch boots on and everything then go right ahead and wear them but it's more important for me to be comfortable rather than me like killing myself in shoes so that is basically it if you guys have any other tips and essentials that you usually bring to a concert make sure you let me know in the comments so that I know I think this is mostly just like the basic stuff that you should bring to a concert I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you follow me on my Twitter and Instagram if you want to participate in my little Q&A that I'm gonna have I'm gonna post it either like Monday or Tuesday about it to like send in the questions so that I'm ready on Wednesday yeah I am so excited for this show so that means that the next couple of videos is literally going to be about the sweetener tour yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a like and subscribe to my channel help me get to 100 because i am so close and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video